All right, guys, we're gonna build some trusses for a 40 by 60 shop out of steel. We've got us some two inch by two inch angle iron and some inch and a half by inch and a half angle iron. We're gonna make some steel trusses. It'll give it an open span, so it gives you more headroom. But these are 20 foot sticks. Uh, I've got my metal cutting miter saw Thanks to Evolution Power Tools. This thing is a freaking beast. And I've got their mag drill and their angular bits and stuff like that, some clamps. But let's get this stuff unloaded and start cutting some pieces and see what we can turn it into. All right, guys, this is what we got so far. I've got my end caps where it's gonna mount together and then right here where it's going to mount to the post. I haven't got that top post mount welded yet, but anyhow. Uh, these pieces right here are 18 inches long. So at this angle, you're going to be 18 inches wide from the top to the bottom of your truss. I've got an eight inch, eight and a half inch overhang. We're at a 412 pitch, as you can see. We've got these levered in. Now we're fixing to start putting our webbing in here. We're gonna be using inch and a half by inch and a half angle iron for that. This top and bottom is two by two angle iron. So let me get some webbing cut and I'll bring you back. All right, this is what we got so far. I don't have these webbing welded in. I just figured out the length and the uh, degree that I had to cut them all at. So I'll walk you down through here. I'm gonna give you some measurements to help you out because I can't find this stuff on the internet. So y'all can leave a thank you in the comments because trial and error, I've cut a few pieces and kind of wasted some, but I've got this figured out now. This is going for a 40 by 60 pole barn. That right there mark on the ground. Uh, well, there you go, now you see it. The black marks right there, right there, that's gonna represent your six by six post, which would be five and a half inches wide. That piece sitting on top right there, that'll go on top of the pole. It'll come down beside your pole on the inside. Then you're gonna bolt that. All right, that's gonna bolt to the post. This is a 412 pitch. So, this is 18 inch from top to the bottom. And then on your pieces, this is your webbing. All the pieces that are running this way. That one, that one, that one, that one. That's cut at 21 and a quarter from that tip to that tip. That's 21 and a quarter. And that is 30 degree cut. That's going to give you, you'll start here. I'll have a, I have some angle iron coming up every two feet. Cause that's where my purling is going to be. I'm going to run it two foot on center. So everywhere I got a center, uh, a purling, it's going to have a gusset right there in the middle to help you know, support that weight. And it'll come down right there and it'll come up to another part of So, these are spaced out every two foot. You're gonna need, I'm gonna call this the left side. You're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. The right side is what I'm calling these. You're only gonna need nine of them. Again, 21 and a quarter, cut at 30 degree the opposite way. What I'm using is, I've got an Evolution Power Tools uh, compound miter saw that's made to cut steel. As you can see, it's got a steel cutting blade on it. You can see I've still got it set on 30. So I just cut them at 30 and I place it in there. These are inch and a half, so I just 
take a two by four, put it in there, that way I can clamp it up against it so this piece can't move on both sides. Anyhow, that's how I cut all those. I've already got all the webbing, the end caps. I'm calling these pieces right here. This piece is gonna bolt to the post. And then the other end cap, I'll drill holes. And this is gonna bolt together for the, the other side that I'm gonna build. That'll make it a 40 foot span from inside of this post. Well, actually, it's gonna make it a 39 foot nine inch span from the outside of the post to the outside of your other post. That way when you put your two by six around your shop for your tin to uh, screw to, that's an inch and a half here and an inch and a half down there that makes it 40 foot. So that, that's the way I'm building mine. This is what's gonna be called Right now it's facing like it's my left, but it's actually gonna be the right because once I get all this welded out and I go to bolt it up, I want the flat edge of the angle iron facing towards me when I walk into my shop. So actually it won't matter because my shop is gonna be, I'm gonna have all my doors on this side. Anyhow, so let me get these welded out and I'll bring you back. This side here is fully welded. And here's my other side, I've got it tacked up. I don't have my other piece down there. I've got it, I just haven't got it in there just yet. But anyhow, you see the gist of it. And where they go together, this bottom piece right here was just, I made that for the 412 pitch so I can keep my whole angle all the way. So that's, a, that's just a template. So, or jig, I mean, I'm sorry. Now I'm going to pull my gooseneck trailer in here and I'm going to make a jig off of both sides so I have two patterns. That way I can knock these out and they'll be exactly the same. I'll get that set up and I'll show you. Alright, here we go. This is what I got set up. As you can see, this is my gooseneck trailer and this is what I've done. I've made a jig, screwed these boards down to the trailer everywhere the most important part is which is your top your bottom and your ends you can see i've got my templates already cut so i can start producing a bunch of those for the webbing but here's what we got <clears throat> all right this is where your post is going to sit on top of your post right here all right this is going to bolt to the post to the inside of the post right here your bottom runner is going to be 244 and a half inches from here all the way down. Top is going to be 259 and a half all the way down. Once you get down here to this end, you can see I've got my jig there. This piece is 18 inches long right here. I've got all this stuff marked. You can look at it in the video all right and then what that's going to do from this end all the way down to this end right here when you put two of these together there's the other side right there this is going to allow you to build a 40 foot span and when i say 40 foot i've drawn up something here so i'm not the best artist in the world but anyhow this this is just an ideal i am measuring when i say a 40 foot span my post from the outside to the outside of my post will end up being 39 feet 9 inches that allows me an inch and a half for my uh two by sixes to run along the side of the building for your tin to screw to that'll make it a 40 foot span from the outside. Now from the inside of your post, this is where this is gonna bolt to, the inside for a 412 pitch. Inside of this post to the inside of this post, it's gonna be 38 feet, 10 inches. So when both of these are put together, 
that will span the 38 10 foot it's at a 412 pitch it's not hard to do your cuts these are cut at 30 degrees here's my template for my webbing it's simple those pieces are cut 21 inches and a quarter 21 and a quarter inches as you can see and both ends are cut at a 30 degree and once you do that you can see it fits right down in there then all you have to do is just clamp your metal right there clamp it right there put your weld it's that simple this is for uh you could do this for a 40 uh, foot span or you could do it for less as long as you keep that angle right here it's like i say guys it's it's not hard so i hope this helps you guys i'll give more video and pictures if you have any other questions just let me know